Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we are taught by our first reading that like Elijah the prophet, we pray to God with confidence and trust. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. Ahab sent to all the children of Israel and had the prophets assemble on Mount Carmel. Elijah appealed to all the people and said, How long will you straddle the issue? If the Lord is God, follow him. If Baal, follow him. The people, however, did not answer him. So Elijah said to the people, I am the only surviving prophet of the Lord, and there are 450 prophets of Baal. Give us two young bulls, let them choose one, cut it into pieces, and place it on the wood but start no fire. I shall prepare the other and place it on the wood, but shall start no fire. You shall call on your gods, and I will call on the Lord. The God who answers with fire is God. All the people answered, agreed. Elijah then said to the prophets of Baal, choose one young bull, and prepare it first, for there are more of you. Call upon your gods, but do not start the fire. Taking the young bull that was turned over to them, they prepared it and called on Baal from morning to noon, saying, Answer us, Baal. But there was no sound and no one answering, and they hopped around the altar they had prepared. When it was noon, Elijah taunted them, Call louder, for he is a god, and may be meditating, or may have retired, or may be on a journey. Perhaps he is asleep and must be awakened. They called out louder and slashed themselves with swords and spears, as was their custom, until blood gushed over them. Noon passed, and they remained in a prophetic state until the time for offering sacrifice. But there was not a sound. No one answered, and no one was listening. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come here to me. When the people had done so, he repaired the altar of the Lord that had been destroyed. He took twelve stones for the number of tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the Lord had said, Your name shall be Israel. He built an altar in honor of the Lord with the stones and made a trench around the altar, large enough for two measures of grain. When he had arranged the wood, he cut up the young bull and laid it on the wood. Fill four jars with water, he said, and pour it over the burnt offering and over the wood. Do it again, he said, and they did it again. Do it a third time, he said, and they did it a third time. The water flowed around the altar, and the trench was filled with the water. At the time for offering sacrifice, the prophet Elijah came forward and said, Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant. 
and have done all these things by your command. Answer me, Lord, answer me, that this people may know that you, Lord, are God, and that you have brought them back to their senses. The Lord's fire came down and consumed the burnt offering, wood, stones, and dust, and it lapped up the water in the trench. Seeing this, all the people fell prostrate and said, The Lord is God. The Lord is God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. They multiply their sorrows who court other gods. Blood libations to them I will not pour out, nor will I take their names upon my lips. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. O Lord, my allotted portion and cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Please stand. paths, my God, and guide me in your truth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we see in our first reading two attitudes in prayer. The first one is the prayer of the prophets of Baal. They prayed in despair. That is why when they prayed, they prayed loudly, they cried, they shouted, they prayed for from morning until noon, 
They even slashed themselves so that blood will gush forth. Their prayer was in despair because their gods do not hear them. They are not sure of their gods. On the other hand, Elijah's prayer was not a prayer in despair, but a prayer in confidence. In fact, when Elijah was preparing his altar, he asked his assistant to pour water. Why? Because he was sure that fire will come down from heaven, and he was sure that God will answer his prayer. A prayer with confidence. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask ourselves, what is our attitude in prayer? Do we pray in despair, like the prophets of Baal in the first reading? Or do we pray like Elijah, with full confidence and trust in God? Paano kaya tayo manalangin? Nagdarasal ba tayo ng walang tiwala sa Diyos? O katulad ni Propeta Elias, tayo kaya ay nagdadasal ng may pananalig sa Panginoon. If you pray in despair, like the prophets of Baal, prayer will not be a pleasant experience. In fact, you will get tired of prayer like the prophets of Baal because they prayed without trust. But if we pray like Elijah, Prayer will be an experience of love and confidence in God. Jesus himself, in our gospel reading today, taught us that we must have full trust and confidence in the Father. As Jesus said in our gospel reading, that not a smallest part of a letter of the law will pass without the Word of God being fulfilled and taking place. Ganun ang tiwala ni Jesus sa Ama. Ang sabi ni Jesus, lahat ng nasusulat na salita ng Diyos ay mangyayari. That is why when Jesus prayed to the Father, Jesus prayed not in despair, Jesus prayed with confidence to the Father because He believed that the Father, God, will fulfill His Word. My dear brothers and sisters, we pray with confidence to God because we believe He is trustworthy and that He will keep His words. My dear brothers and sisters, what is your attitude in prayer? I hope that Jesus will teach us how to pray with confidence to God. Amen. Please stand. God promises happiness to those who follow His law, who seek Him with all their hearts. Let us pray to Him now in that common bond of fidelity. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father and the bishops, through their teaching and way of life, may encourage the flock to follow Christ's way of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That renewed effort may be intensified 
so that peace and stability may be attained in the family of nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That married couples may experience the warmth of God's love in their relationship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the elderly may be encouraged by the words of comfort and assurances of those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may behold the things that no eyes have seen and no ear has heard. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us continue to pray for our brothers and sisters in Nigeria, especially the victims of the recent terrorist attack in the church during a celebration of Pentecost Sunday. More than 50 churchgoers were killed by a gunman. Let us pray for persecuted Christians that Jesus may be their source of peace and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and everlasting Father, enlighten our lives with your law of love and keep us on the right road which leads to your kingdom. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim Worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With confidence, let us now pray to God, our Father. Our Father, who art our in... Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our host for this evening's uh, healing rosary for the world will be the Diocesan Shrine and Parish of St. John the Baptist in Kalumpit, Bulacan. And so we invite everyone tonight, let us be together again in praying the healing rosary for the world, especially for peace and justice for the persecuted Christians in the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.